My name is Ian Richter, and this is a brief account of my visit to the Church of St. Ignatius Loyola on Sunday, December 17, 2017, at 11 a.m. Upon entering the church, I found that the majority of the congregation was Caucasian, and most likely either middle or upper class. Most of the congregants also appeared to be of middle or old age. However, there were some younger members as well. The congregation was mostly involved in the Mass. About 50% of the people were singing along with varying degrees of enthusiasm, and almost everyone was following along with the responses. In fact, the church would often boom with noise during times of prolonged responses due to the voices of the congregation. Any sort of personal hospitality was lacking, but this does not mean that the members of the parish were unwelcoming. I chalk this up to the fact that the Mass was absolutely packed with hundreds of people, thus not really allowing attendees to be able to tell who is a regular or a newcomer. I almost immediately noticed that this church did things in a very exaggerated manner. For example, copious amounts of incense were used during the service, much more than I have ever seen used in a regular Sunday Mass. Also, the presentation of the Gospel before reading was very involved, too. The priest actually went partially down the center aisle with it, something I have never seen before. This process also took quite a bit to complete. The program given out the door was very well put together and provided either the lyrics for the day's music or the page to find said song in the books in the pews. The priest wore the standard robes and vestments that any other priest would wear. However, what I was most impressed by was that both the altar servers and the choir wore very ornate multi-garment uniforms, much like those seen in this picture. The music of the service seemed very old school, mere Gregorian chant, and used Latin extensively. If any instrumentals were used, it was just an organ. The following clip displays some of this music. The processional hymn was A Morning Star Dawns Near, the offertory hymn was On Jordan's Bank, the communion hymn was Wild and Lone, The Prophet's Voice, and the recessional hymn was Savior of Nations Come. Overall, I really enjoyed attending Mass at this church. I really liked how stunning the architecture of the building was, the mystical element the music brought to the Mass, thanks to Gregorian chant and the overall reverence for the ritual of the Mass itself. This overall built a powerful experience to help me feel much more connected with my spirituality as well as the mysticism of the Mass itself. I would most definitely visit again.